if we have told to make a activity percentage table generally we make uh, a slide something like this where we will put the description and put the activities there and then on the right side we put the percentage so this is generally all people do every time so instead of doing this kind of simple things why can't we add some spice to the slide so this is how i have converted the slide from this to something like this you can see i have just put the same activity one two three an activity name and i've put the hourglass here and when i click the sand pours into the bottom part and then it will display the percentage so let me just show you how it works when i click you can see here the sand pours and they say 60 percent and the second one with some different color 20 percent then it comes 40 percent here 95 percent and this one is some 10 percent so you can see the difference from this slide to this slide likewise i have created one more slide where i have just put the straight one without any curves there you can see here something like this so it is very beneficial to show some a uh, good uh, percentage information to the wider audience or to the management or uh, uh, the teachers also can use this for to show the progress of the students and if you have not subscribed to my powerpoint university channel please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel powerpoint university and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes from the rectangle select the second one which is the rectangle rounded corners draw this much depending on the requirement so this is i'm going to create the hourglass so just make it this much size and make sure to align center align middle and shape outline i'm going to make it no outline then i'm going to add two triangles go to basic shapes select the triangle draw the triangle maybe this much size shape fill we can give some different color shape outline make it no outline and rotate you can rotate right 90 degrees and put it exactly here giving a little big gap here and press ctrl d to duplicate and again rotate it to the flip horizontal you can see here again bring it here let me just change this color so that you can see what exactly i'm trying to do you see here i'm just going to give a little bit gap here in the center and i'm going to cut this one you can see here make sure that the equal gap is given here so once this is done i'm going to select this hold the shift key select this triangle and this triangle under format go to merge shape and you can subtract it so you end up getting a shape of a hourglass all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate this and i'm going to keep aside for my later use then go to insert shapes and select a rectangle draw a rectangle either you can draw a full rectangle covering from the top to bottom or you can have this much rectangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give some light gray color and then send this to back and for the back also i'm going to format ground background and then i'm going to give the the different color for the background of the slide maybe some gray color dark gray color or somewhat light color here and this one i can make it maybe uh, white for the time being and later on i can change the color now what i'm going to do is i'm going to subtract this hourglass from this one so what i'm going to do first first select the the white rectangle and then hold the shift key and select the hourglass and under format merge shape and just say subtract so you end up getting a you can see here something like this all right again align center align middle now you have got this one now it's time to fill the sand or whatever you call it inside of this hourglass so go to insert shape select the rectangle draw the rectangle you know it should be exceeding the hourglass the size you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color like this and then just click and send to back so you see here it is filled this one again if you want to increase or reduce i can just increase the size or decrease the size something like this you can see here then i'm going to select this press ctrl d 
and i'm just going to put it here exactly in the center and then again send this to back all right so let me just move this one so that it is exactly in the center you can see here so and this one i will just move it till here all right now again i want to give some uh, effect like if this is uh, falling uh, at the bottom for that go to insert shape select the rectangle again you can see here draw a small rectangle shape outline make it no outline and shape fill again give the same color zoom it and make sure that it is properly aligned you can see here and then just reduce the size here up till here so you can see here it looks something like this let me just remove the guides and if you want to give some good effect again right mouse click this select this one right mouse click edit points and i can give a uh, shape something like this you can see here it gives kind of it is falling down and this also again right mouse click edit points and this one i can just bring it down and this one i can bring it up so it looks something like this and to give more realistic look or some shadow effect i can select this one and i can select the gradient fill here and here i'm going to use like uh, three stops you can see here the first stop i'm going to give the same color which is a background and here i'm going to give some white color and again here i'm going to give something color like this and then you can go to the shadow effects and you can give this inner something like this and you can increase the blur size so it looks something like this and then i'm just going to put it exactly here you can see here and then just format just send back so you get a uh, some kind of a realistic feeling of the hourglass and if you want to give some a glossy effect also you can do it go to insert shapes select the oval shape maybe here you can draw this much oval shape here shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it wide and then go to the effects and under soft adjust increase the size so you can see here something like this and then if you want we can increase some transparency effect also so like this you can give some effect let me just make it more transparent yeah so once this is done you need to add the percentage here go to insert text and just put for example i will say that this is say 50 percent so I'm just going to type 50, center align, make white font and select some good font, century, I'll just say century gothic, bold, increase the size, you can see here this much maybe and then press control D to duplicate and I'm going to put percentage here and reduce the percentage font size and left align, reduce the width and then put it exactly next to this one something like this so once this is done again for this also i can give some uh, gradient fill let me just select this gradient fill and i'm going to give only two and then make the direction from this side so it looks something like this so i'm going to select all this move it aside you can see here and you can put the option number here so this is zero one again center align give red color whatever color you have taken here again the same font i'm going to choose make it bold increase the size put it exactly in the center and then here you can add some detailed text center align again the same font reduce the font size and if you have uh, icons you can add the icons and if you want you can add the the title also here so once this is done i'm just going to select all of this press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate and then just put it as next to this one again one two three four and five let me just select all this and move it exactly in the center now i've done all this now it's time to change the numbers so this is two three four and this is five and then depending on your requirement maybe i can just reduce this size you can see here 
and this one i can increase the size like this okay and then you can go and change the color according to the color of your choice whichever color you feel better you can just add this one and make sure to reduce the size something like this so likewise you can just change the color as per the requirement so this could be like i'll say that this is could be it like uh, 80 percent all right and again likewise you can just change the color for each option so uh, once you change all this one it's time to do the animation let me just show one example uh, go to the animations enable the animation pane let me just ungroup this so you need to ungroup all one by one or you can just select and ungroup then i'm just going to select this shape first and then go to wipe you can see here wipe save from top so it comes like this and then again the same thing i'm going to use the wipe or i can just simply select this animate painter click on this so it comes like this this should happen i'll say with previous and with a little gap and then after this again this should happen all right and this also should happen with previous and with a little gap so let's see how it works so still it is coming very fast so i can just increase a little bit you can see here and let me just play yeah so again this also i have to just make it or you can make it after previous also not a problem so once this is done i'm just going to select both of this percentage and group it and this one i'm going to add animation more entrance effect stretch stretch and make it the from top and this should happen after previous you can see here and then the same you can apply for the detailed text also so let me just play how it looks when i click you can see here it comes something like this so the same animation you effect you can just add it to the rest of the options